back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some tips and tricks on how to stay organized and productive. I know especially during this crazy crazy time of like quarantine and lockdown, it can be difficult to find like a daily routine and to just find a way to keep being productive. Personally, the type of person that thrives off of productivity and routine, I basically need something to do throughout the day because otherwise I'll just like look back at the day at the end of it and be like, what did I do? Like what did I accomplish? and then I'll just like feel like super crappy about myself. Yeah, I'm just gonna be sharing with you guys a ton of different tips and ways to just stay organized and feel more productive and to enhance your productivity. If you guys are new here, I would love if you would subscribe. I'm posting a ton of videos in June, so definitely you don't wanna miss out on those. Definitely thumbs up this video because it really, really helps out my channel. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get onto the video. Okay, so my first tip is to declutter and to get rid of unnecessary items. I know that I personally cannot function or think clearly in a case that is cluttered and just messy and filled with unnecessary items. I know that I just get so stressed and so overwhelmed if I just have so many things sprawled all over the place, my room's mess, all that. So I try to keep it as clean and as minimal as possible. Especially right now during quarantine, you have so much time to go through your room or your apartment or whatever space that you're living in and completely declutter the area. You can get rid of things. And decide what items that you really want to keep and what ones you don't. And the ones that you don't, you can definitely sell. I know a lot of people sell on places like Depop, Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, there's a ton of different ways to sell things, but you can also donate it if you want to like a Goodwill or thrift store, or like wherever. Definitely declutter your space because it will just make your mind so much more clear and already you will just feel a lot more put together. The next one is to set time limits on your phone and this one is a complete game changer. I know right now, every Sunday when I get that notification and it's like, your weekly phone usage was Blah, 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 hours and I'm like oh oh my god like that is disgusting like the amount of time that I spend on my phone I'm like wow if you guys want to be able to manage that better definitely set time limits you can set time limits on specific apps so if you know that you scroll forever on Instagram or TikTok TikTok definitely that one sucks you in if you know that you just get sucked into those apps you can set time limits so you could put like two hours a day or an hour a day or anything like that By doing this you just become so much more conscious of how much time you're actually spending on your phone and then you will actually see how much time you do have in your day that you can put forth that time and energy into doing something else you have to do to set time limits on your phone is going to the settings on your phone and then click screen time and then there'll be a little um, it's like an orange icon and it says app limit and you can just completely control it from there. My third tip is to write everything down and this can be either digitally or just on a pen and paper. I am constantly writing everything down on my phone through my notes app. This is everything like grocery list, things I need to get at the store next time, products I'm running out of, appointments, things I need to do, just anything that I know I need to write down so it's not just like in my brain and I'm like, oh, like what was that thing I was supposed to do? This will just make you feel so much more organized. You can have it on a piece of paper or on your phone so you can always reference it at a later time. And by writing everything down, you can see visually everything that you actually need to do. You're so much more productive because you can see a visual list of what you need to do and check everything off as you go. And that feeling is so satisfying. Checking off a long to-do list at the end of the day feels so good. Okay, so the next tip is to make your bed. and your I'll be like, Amy, what are you talking about making your bed? Like, what? But it may sound so silly, but making your bed is such a good way to start off your day because when you think about it, getting out of bed and making it is such a simple task and think like you've already gotten out of bed and five minutes later you've already made your bed you've already accomplished one small thing out of your day and automatically after making your bed it's going to put you in a more productive mood leaving you more motivated to go and complete other tasks also connecting that to my first tip about having a clean space i don't know what the exact stat is but I know that when you make your bed, it makes your room like, I don't want to say a number because I know I'm going to be wrong because I don't know it for sure, but your space looks significantly cleaner and more tidy. So definitely make your bed. It's so easy and it will just make you feel better for the rest of the day. Okay, so my next one is to set a timer. I actually first heard about this when I listened to Claudia Salewski's podcast. I think it's called We Bought a House, her and her boyfriend Phineas. But she was talking about how she sets a timer when she completes tasks. So she'll set like a 20 minute timer and she'll say, okay, in these 
20 minutes I need to go and I need to clean the kitchen and whatever she gets done in the, those 20 minutes is everything she does she doesn't do any more she doesn't do any less you know she does the 20 minutes I was saying it's actually surprising how much you can get done in 20 minutes when you allot that time to a specific task a lot of the times as well if you set 20 minutes to do a task you might be three quarters of the way done by the time that 20 minutes goes off and you might just be motivated to finish the rest of the task or the job or whatever you have to do and even if you aren't motivated to continue going on and completing the task you're already a lot further done the task than you were 20 minutes ago so it definitely works to be more productive my last tip for you guys is to organize your phone and laptop obviously right now we are spending so 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 much time on our laptops and our phones our ipads whatever it is we're just spending so much time online on these things go in there and declutter everything go in your laptop delete unnecessary files that you don't need maybe from like years ago or random downloads you have all of that just takes up so much space or if your desktop super messy that might make you a little more disorganized she did a video on how I decluttered my phone so I will have that up here in the cards on there and just turn off your notifications delete apps you're not using delete pictures you're not using all of that it just completely declutters your phone and your laptop and just your digital space and you yourself will feel so much more organized okay so those are all of my tips for staying productive and organized i really really hope that you guys did enjoy this and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up because it really really supports my channel once again if you guys are new here definitely subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye